the 1952 medal will always be one which is how do I put it a contested one because 1948 was a was a fantastic win against England when India went to 1952 the European teams if you read Pankaj Gupta's piece in in sport and pastime for example they had started to catch up and there were a lot of questions asked can Indian hockey do it it was a very good side a very good side and Balbir Singh senior absolute star hat trick brilliant you know if anybody could have compared with Dhyan Chand it has to be Balbir Singh senior to take out the Dutch to take out all the leading global teams win the gold medal again in 1952 and if you see the descriptions that happened I mean the Indian people did sort of this it was it was wild celebrations wild celebrations in fact when when the when the Indians came back, uh, Kashba Jadav also won a medal in that same Olympic Games. There was no celebration for Kashba Jadav, but around the country, under uh, Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, the hockey team was felicitated. There were series of celebrations organized. India had started to take to hockey. This was the fifth straight gold medal. Now it was an incredible achievement: 1928, 32, 36, 48, 52. Clearly, it was an incredible achievement because at no point in time did India give up their grip on Olympic hockey and field hockey. And this has to be, this has to be Balbir Singh Senior's tournament. If in the annals of Indian hockey you compare anybody with Dhyan Chand, it has to be Balbir Singh Senior. Because 1948 win, 1952 win, 1956 win. Imagine winning three gold medals. Imagine winning three gold medals and that too. I mean... In a, in, a, in a period when Europe had started to catch up, your country was going through so much economic turmoil because it was a newly independent nation state. There was no money for sport. For Asian Games, the cricket body, the Cricket Club of India had to give Government of India a certain amount of loan. And Europe at the same time was catching up big time. You know, the, the, the hockey game was changing. It was getting more and more physical. But Balbir Singh Senior and the rest of the Indian team stood up to the task in 1952 at the Olympic Games. But as I said, the decline had started to set in. 56 was a, was a much more difficult challenge. India just about managed. Pakistan had started to establish itself as a, as a serious contender along with leading European sides. They challenged India in 56 and finally in 60, of course, dethroned India at the Rome Olympic Games. But 52 triumph was the last real dominant effort, if I can say that, on the part of the Indians. Because post that, you will see contests starting, India's supremacy getting challenged, even the Indians got a little bit rattled, but 52 was, was the crowning jewel, you know, the culmination of all of the gold medals with a dominant performance in the 52 games. So we will forever celebrate Balbir Singh and that particular team.